today I am going to be showing you guys how I continue Noah's toy rotation to limit some of the anxiety, some of the mess, some of the chaos inside of our home. So recently I did a toy rotation and organization system and now I'm just showing you guys how I continue throughout that system to keep all of his toys organized and keep a good system going. Hello and welcome, my name is Heaven. I'm a stay-at-home mom, wife, and homemaker. Here I vlog about all things motherhood and lifestyle. I create helpful, relatable, realistic, and motivational content for you all. So if that's something that you're into, definitely subscribe to my channel. I post twice weekly and I would love to have you here. But let's go ahead and get into today's video and that is our toy rotation system for my three-year-old son, Noah. So here is what it's looking like in our family room. He has a toy shelf here in the corner where I like to display some of his wooden toys and Montessori toys. But then we also have this large pile up of toys that he has currently downstairs in the middle of the floor. A lot of these I brought up when we had our Valentine's Day couples game night when the other parents brought their children over so that we could have a larger variety of toys for everyone to play with all of the kiddos. But normally I do not keep all of these toys out for him because it is just too much to clean up he doesn't play with everything so it's just no need to keep everything up here so I am going to get all of this stuff put back into its place where it belongs so I'm going to show you guys how I do that and how it looks after the fact okay so I went through some things and this is everything that I'm taking downstairs and this is like a little baby toy and they stuffed like magnet tiles in there so I'm just gonna pull those out because I am gonna leave the magnet tiles out for him but I'm gonna put this little like cube organizer away Noah hasn't played with this since he was a baby but we did have some little like younger toddlers and babies here so I'm going to um, put that back now um, I'm also going to put his little fire station away he actually played with these blocks a lot and really enjoyed it so I have no doubt that he'll probably still enjoy it but so that he can you know still have a rotation of toys I'm gonna put it away so that you know he can continue to enjoy it and not just outplay it he also has like his little felt sandwich making kit out that I'm going to put back and then a ton of just like small cars this basket here is like just more random like action figures and just toys that I'm gonna put away so these are what I'm gonna leave out his school bus his little monster trucks his PJ masks toys are all going to stay out for him to play with this basket I am going to take upstairs he didn't play with his Noah's Ark boat very often and that's my fault because I didn't read the Noah's Ark book to him it came with a toy we read Noah's Ark plenty of times before different versions of it but I didn't really introduce you know the toy to him like with the story so I'm gonna take it into his room and then we'll read it and I'll let him play with the toy while I read the book see if you know he likes it this is a little bath submarine toy that he got for Valentine's Day he also got this pillow for Valentine's Day and his little Mickey Easter stuffed animal so these are all like relevant to like the season or just things that I think that he'll still play with so I'm gonna take those to his room and then over here on the shelf, I still have his magnet tiles out. Um, so I'm going to leave those on the shelf because he always plays with those. Like, I don't think that he will be happy if I put them away like ever. And it keeps him quiet, so I'm fine with that. He also has his wooden Mickey train that I'm going to leave out that he likes and his wooden tow truck. These are just some of the toys that I pretty much just keep on the shelf like often he has this wooden railroad track that he loves but he mostly really enjoyed playing with this with my mom so the last time we went to my mom house we left this there and then we forgot to pick it up and she forgot to bring it back to us so I finally retrieved it when I went to her house yesterday and he played with it immediately when we got back so I think that he'll be happy to see this back out on the shelf for him to play with so I'm gonna leave this one out and then put the plastic blocks away as far as like building sets go and then he also has this Melissa and Doug fold out railroad track that maybe he'll pair with it to kind of just play you know what together so I'm just gonna put those little pieces inside 
Um, and then he also has like his Mario, Yoshi, and Luigi remote control cars. So he has a Luigi Mario Kart one. I'm pretty sure Yoshi is like behind the sofa or something. So I'm going to get Yoshi. And yeah, he has like these little toys that my husband plays with him with. So I'll leave those out. I have some random Legos to put back as well as his wooden food. The wooden food has been out since like Christmas. It's been out since I bought it. So I think it's time to put those into a rotation. So I will put all of this away. Um, and then we'll leave it in there until the next rotation. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything put away and see how that goes. Now that I have everything brought down to the basement, I'm just gonna place them in the toy rotation system that I kind of have here. It's not the prettiest, but it very much works. So basically we have medium cars, large cars, any of these like really large toys. I have some tiny cars there, some wooden food items, a little box of just random things. I also have some tiny animals. I keep his medium sized action figures in here, his tiny action figures there, and then his small cars there. He also has like a little plastic railroad system right there. Now I have empty baskets and this is what I now have for him at the baskets. So he has his school bus here. I also grabbed him a couple of like little school people that he could put in there. This is the teacher and Noah colored on him with like marker. So he's gonna go over here with this little tractor that I brought out for him because it also has marker on the side of it so I'm gonna clean those but so he'll have his school bus with a couple of little students and a teacher to go with that he still has his monster trucks his PJ masks and then a couple of farm animals in case he wants to play with the tractor like that so I'm gonna take out his farm so that he could play with his farm with his tractor and then that'll be the toys that he has. And then here, magnet tiles, his little wooden vehicles, his wooden railway set, and then his remote control cars, his bowling set, few toys. So this will be easier to keep clean. Everything on the shelf has a place and a home. He'll know where it goes. I'll be able to easily put it where it goes. That basket is for his bowling pins, and that basket will be for literally everything else. So that is how I do our toy rotation and keep everything nice and neatly inside our family room. I want him to have access to family room toys, but I don't want them to be scattered across <laughs> the whole room. So that I can work with. So that is it, you guys. It is literally that simple. It normally takes me no time at all. Sometimes I let him pick out the toys that he want to rotate out, and sometimes I'll pick them out just based on what I've been seeing him play with and what I think he's interested in at the moment. But this way he doesn't get bored with his toys. He's always interested because if it's something that he hasn't seen for a while, like for a week, two weeks, a month or so, he'll be even more interested and more excited when that toy comes out. It's always something that he's interested in. We can keep, you know, a good variety of toys out for him, but not so many that He's just playing from one toy to another, taking everything out at once, messing up the home, and only playing with them for a few seconds before he moves on to the next toy. I have found that this has worked wonders for me so much easier, and ever since I decided to utilize a toy rotation, I truly believe that my anxiety has like decreased a lot because I don't like a lot of mess. I don't like a lot of chaos and I know people say that's just a part of motherhood which is true but there are definitely ways that we can make things a lot easier for ourselves or even just a little bit easier for ourselves as a stay-at-home mom 
or homemaker or wife or you know whatever so again if you are just looking for another mama that you can relate to and connect with that is just taking it one day at a time definitely subscribe to my channel i would love to have you here but that will be all for today's video thank you so much for watching until next time